Let America declare the war. Let them assemble all their armaments there in South China Sea. Fire the first shot and I'll be glad to do the next. Alright, Shalom. This is how one by Yashallah. The lions then camp. When they say Kalayim, like Hawa, by Shimmy Hawa Shai, by Hashem, Harakakwadash, Mahamad. Double honor to the elder apostles of JMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim, Nakwatim, and children that believe in sincerity and truth are on the four corners of the earth. This is Joel chapter 3, verse 9. Proclaim you this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Yahweh. All right. So that's prophecy playing out to where all these nations are being assembled. All these heathen nations, right? The heathen rulers are assembling their nations and their kingdoms. A lot of the Philippines are, um, are, uh, are Jake's, but I'm talking about like uh, China, uh, America, right? Um, they're being assembled and ultimately to go uh, the war in the South China Sea, uh, war over in North Korea, uh, um, and uh, ultimately the war of Armageddon. All right, over there in the Middle East, around the Valley of Jehoshaphat, Yahweh Shapat. But um, but right now they're dealing with the South China Sea, to where he's speaking prophecy. He's saying, uh, tell them to assemble, tell them to to declare war. All right, and that's what the scriptures say, man. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen. It says, um, you know. Prepare war. That's what the scriptures say. So we're in a time of war. This is Ecclesiastes 3 and uh, 1. To everything there is a season, a time, and a time to every purpose under heaven. All right. Um, a time to plant, a time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal, right? And a time to break down and a time to build up. The same way the children of Israel are being built up, right? Uh, through edification. A time to um, weep and a time to laugh. And the, the scriptures say that the hopeful elect going to laugh in the midst of destruction. A time to mourn and a time to dance. It's deep, man. A time to cast away stones. And a time to gather stones together. The same thing as the elect being, or the children of Israel being scattered around the four corners of the earth amongst the heathen. And uh, the hopeful elect are going to be gathered, are being gathered through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. Like Yahweh Shah uh, didn't embrace us because uh, we walked contrary to him. We would be, our people were being wicked. So now he's embracing us, all right? Um, a time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. And a time of war and a time of peace. And this is not the time of peace, man. You know, scripture says soon they say peace, peace. Sudden war, sudden destruction shall come. And you got all these nations uh, uh, speaking of wars and rumors of wars. Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right? Because there's still uh, prophecies that got to play out before America, Babylon get destroyed. You still got to get the RFID push that's going to be pushed on the, um, as the world currency. Um, civil war got to break out. The dollar got to collapse, you know, and um, 
And in the midst of Jacob's trouble, that's when the, uh, the missile is going to start dropping, you know. The war could break out in South China Sea, all these different proxy wars, but it's not the uh, that 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 war the end all wars, you know what I mean? World War Three.